Would you put pesticides into your vagina? Nope, me neither. But we could have inadvertently been doing that for years. Traces of glyphosate, a pesticide linked to cancer, have been found at very high levels in tampons. Let's talk about these headlines. Toxic chemicals found in tampons. What's actually true? And what should you really be worried about? Well, these headlines actually came from a recent investigation by Pan UK, who found residues of harmful pesticides, including glyphosate, in several tampon brands, sometimes at levels up to 40 times higher than the legally allowed limit for drinking water. Now, this information matters because around 50 to 80% of people in the United States use tampons. So it's a big proportion of the population. So what do we know about what's going on? Well, these harmful toxic substances were most commonly found in the tampons that were made from conventional, so non-organic, cotton, likely because they used pesticides whilst cultivating that cotton. Now, the presence of pesticide residues doesn't automatically mean that there is a health risk, but we do know that our vaginal tissue is highly absorbent and long-term exposure to these substances hasn't been properly studied. I always like to bring us back to published evidence, evidence-based scientific research, and this was a 2024 peer-reviewed study that tested 60 menstrual products from across Europe and the US, and they found metals contained in these tampons, including metals like lead, for which we have no known safe level. So why might these companies be adding metals to their tampons? Well, some of these metals are being quoted by the manufacturers as required because they provide antimicrobial properties, or they might be anti-odor, or some might be added lubricants. So yes, they might be serving a purpose, they might be added for a reason, but we don't know if they cause us any harm. So here is what I think you should do. Firstly, don't panic. Don't make any sudden changes. The effects of these substances are likely to be very small and we still don't know enough about the long-term impacts to panic. I do recommend you should switch uh, to organic cotton tampons or even better, things like menstrual cups or period underwear, which are better for the environment and potentially better for your vagina long-term as well. They could reduce your risk of exposure to some of these substances. Also, always look for unscented products. Fragrances are a common source of unnecessary chemicals. So we do need some good regulation and transparency in this space. But in the meantime, making informed choices could help protect your health without adding any fear. So let me know if you've changed your menstrual products recently.